Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox fan coming to you from Al Red Sox fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to get back to our action PC 1966 Red Sox replay World Series Game 6 Pirates versus the Twins in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh must win to stay in. They are down three games to one. In my 1966 Red Sox replay, the boys from Beantown finished 81 and 81. The Pirates won the National League at 98 and 64, while the Twins were the American League champions at 99 and 63. We bring you the Fall Classic from our 1966 replay next on the channel. How did we get here? Three games to one, you might ask, if you haven't seen the other games well this is how we got here game one which is a rematch of game five grant versus law mudcat grant and the twins defeated pittsburgh six to four oliva went three for four with a home run in game two camilio pasqual defeated woody fryman five to one harman killebrew was one for one with a home run and three walks. Then we traveled back to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh finally would get a win up on the board, a 3-1 victory. Bob Veal defeated Jim Cott. Bailey, Bob Bailey for the Pirates was one for three with a homer and two ribbies. Pivotal game four saw Minnesota take it five to three one word, Al Worthington won it out of the pen against Bob Face. Gene Ali for the Pirates had a great game. He was two for four with a homer and two ribbies, but it was all for naught as the Twins won it five to three. So now it's game five, do or die for the Pittsburgh Pirates. We'll be playing as the American League Minnesota Twins, and let's get to the starting lineups. Tony Oliva's in right field. Batting first. Batty will do the catching. He'll bat second. Killebrew plays third and bats third. The cleanup hitter is the first baseman, Mincher. Hall is in left. He'll bat fifth. Allen's at second, batting sixth. Zilio Versalis bats seventh. He's the shortstop. Tom Ulanders in, se in center field, batting eighth. And Mudcat Grant on the mound, the winner of game one, rematch with Vern Law, will bat ninth. For the Pirates, Alou's in center, Ali's at short, Stargill's in left, Clemente's the cleanup hitter in right. Clendenin is at first, Bailey at third, Mazeroski at second, and Jim Paglaroni does the catching and will bat eighth. Vern Law, game one loser, will bat ninth. A lot riding on the shoulders of Vern Law. On the mound, he's a seven defensive range. Pag Laroni behind the plate, five range, three arm. Bailey's a four range at third. Ali and Mazeroski, short and second base, are tens up the middle. That's outstanding. Clendenin at first is an eight range. Willie Stargell in left, tremendous arm of a nine. Range poor though, three. A lose in center, four range, four arm, and the great one, Roberto Clemente, is a 10 and a 10 in right for range and arm. Here's Tony Oliva batting 375 with a home run and three ribbies. The left handed batter, the pitch from Law, ball game on its way. That's a fly ball, deep right field. Clemente going back, looking up, and it is gone. Tony Oliva gives the Twins a 1 0 lead. Here in Game 5 as they try to close out the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's watch it once again. A bippity-boppity boom to the moon goes Tony Oliva. Boom goes the ball and Tony O touches them all. As Clemente just looks up and watches the ball go bye bye into the forest. one nothing Twins. Now bring up Earl Batty. He's batting 398. No homers in a ribby. Not a good start for Vern Law. The righty's ready to work to Batty. Batty rips a shot to left. He pulled that inside pitch. 
Twins bats are alive early. And it doesn't get any easier. Here comes Hamrin Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew, 385, a homer and two ribbies. Clendenin to hold Batty on. Law looks in, gets the sign. He kicks and deals to Killebrew. Killebrew, base hit the center. Batty will hold at second. First and second, no outs. Things aren't looking good for the Pirates. Here comes Don Minchner. Mincher, the first baseman, 250, and a ribby. Batty at second, Killer Brew at first. Pirates open to turn two, the pitch to Mincher. Swings at the outside pitch, sends it deep left center field. Stargell on the move, on the run, and he makes the catch. Batty races back to tag up, and he will not challenge the arm. What a catch by Willie Stargell. That is a web jam. I know it didn't come up that way. Mincher drives that ball deep left center field. Stargell went a long, long way and makes the catch, quickly pivoting and throwing it to third, holding Batty at second. One out, two on, one nothing twins. And here's Jimmy Hall, the left fielder, 313, two homers and three ribbies. Left-handed stick. Law takes a deep breath, nods his head. Pag Laroni sets the target, the pitch to Hall. Hall sends it out to Clemente and right. Clemente comes in just a bit. He makes the catch. Batty definitely is not going to challenge his arm. As Clemente throws it back into Mazeroski. They might get out of this cheap. Just one nothing. What a catch by Stargell. <laughs> Prior to the Clemente catch. Now bring up Bernie Allen. Second baseman batting 333. No homers, no ribbies. He's a left-handed batter. Two outs, two on. Runners will be off on contact. Law's ready. He rocks and deals. And that's a base hit to left. Stargell ranging to his left. It's going to be a hustle double for Allen. He slides in and he is safe under the tag of Mazeroski. Killerbrew goes first to third, obviously, on the double. And scoring a zero batty. So that's a clutch two-out double by Allen. It's now 2-0 Minnesota. And here comes Zolio Versalis batting 429 with a home run. Zolio's been tremendous in the replay. Not so good at the plate. He only batted 192. But in this World Series, 429. Zolio awaits the Law offering. Pitch homeward bound. Versalis swings, grounds it back to Law, who throws it to Clendenin. And the top of the first is over, but the Twins score twice. The first one being a bippity-boppity boom to the moon, Alice, by Tony O. Tony Oliva with a leadoff homer. Due up for the Pirates, trailing by two in the bottom of the first. Alou, Alley, and Stargell. If anyone gets on, Clemente. On the mound, Mudcat Grant, winner of game one. Seven defensive range. Behind the plate, Earl Batty, seven range, six arm. Killer Brews a three at third. Versalis an 8 at short, Allen a 5 at second, Mincher's a 3 at first. Hall is in left, 5 range, 4 arm, Ulander is in center, 8 range, 4 arm, and Tony Oliva, Tony O, 10 range, 6 arm. At the ballpark here at Forbes Field, RJL518, thank you for joining us. Check out that wonderful channel. He has a new payoff pitch, one and done, 1977. Lots of good stuff on RJL518. So check out that wonderful YouTube channel. Here's Matty Alou, 385. No homers, no ribbies. Corners move in. He's an eight bunter. Mudcat Grant's ready to work. The pitch to Matty Alou. Alou grounds it back to Grant. Grant calmly tosses to Mincher. One down. Here's Gene Alley, 286, a homer and three ribbies, right-handed stick. Again, he handles the bat well. He can drop a bunt down. Corners will once again move in. Killebrew in at third. Mincher in at first. Stargell on deck. Mudcat Grant's ready. He kicks and fires. Inside corner. And he strikes out Ali on the 2-2. Chase down and in. Two outs, base is empty for Willie Stargell. What a fabulous catch Stargell made in left center field. 
to limit the damage to two runs. The pitch to pre-pops Willie Stargell. And he strikes him out, made him chase outside. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Top of the second, two nothing Minnesota. Twins are up three games to one. The Pirates must win to stay in. Due up for the Twins, looking to clinch the World Series on the visiting field. Ulander, Grant in the top of the order, Tony Oliva. Ted Ulander, 250, and a ribby. He's a left handed batter. Law looks in, he's ready. Pag sets the target. The pitch to Teddy Ulander. Ulander swings, grounds it right side. Mazeroski over to Clendenin, one down. Here's Mudcat Grant. He's actually batting 333 in the World Series. No ribbies, no homer. Law deals to Grant. Line shot to left, and Stargell makes the shoestring catch, tumbles forward, and shows the ball to the man in blue. He puts his right arm up. You are out, Mudcat Grant. Two down. What a play by Willie Stargell. Top of the order, Antonio Oliva, leadoff homer. The pitch to Tony O. And Oliva lines it to Mazeroski. And he makes the lunging snare at second. The side is retired. They hit the ball pretty hard, but nothing to show for it. We go to the bottom of the second. Twins two, Pirates nothing. Due up for Pittsburgh. Clemente, Clendenin, and Bailey. Roberto Clemente, 333 with two ribbies. Will now face Mudcat Grant looking to get two World Series wins. The pitch from Grant to Clemente. And he strikes him out. That's three strikeouts in a row for Mudcat Grant. He tied him up on the 3-2. Here's Don Clendenin, first baseman, 200 batting average. No homers, no ribbies. Earl Batty wiggles the fingers. A smiling Mudcat Grant nods his head. He rocks and deals. That's a base hit right center field. Now bring the tying run to the plate in Bob Bailey. He's only batting 214, but he has two homers and four ribbies. If Bailey goes bippity boppity boom for a third time, we have a 2 2 game. Mazeroski on deck, and he has struggled mightily. The pitch to Bailey. Bailey swings, fly ball to center. Ulander moving to his left. He'll make the grab, he'll throw it back in. Retreating back to first is Clen Denon. Here's Bill Mazeroski batting .071. That's all we need to say about that. The hero of the 1960 World Series has been god-awful at the plate. Grant looks towards first. Now he deals to Mazeroski. Grounder slowly hit the Killebrew. Killebrew charging. Quick release. And they got Mazeroski. The side is retired. Nice play by Killebrew. Top of the third, 2-0 Minnesota. This is a deciding game. If the Twins win, they will take the series four games to one. Due up for Minnesota, Batty, Killebrew, and Mincher. If anyone gets on, Hall. Earl Batty is one for one. He singled. Law trying to put up another goose egg. The windup and the pitch. Batty grounds it slowly to the right side. Clendenin backhands it. Flips to Law, one away. Good job by Law getting over to cover that bag. So with one out, the Twins will now send to the plate. Harmon Killebrew, Killebrew singled in his first at-bat. Paglaroni goes through the signs. Law nods his head. A very stern look. He deals to Killebrew. Killebrew swings. Fly ball, shallow left, Stargell races in, out number two. Two outs, base is empty for Don Mincher. He is 0 for 1. He flew out to deep left center. What a catch by Stargell on that play. Mincher digs in the left-hander's batter's box, ready to grip and rip. Law the righty, deals to the lefty, Mincher. Slowly hit to the right side, Clendenin. Let's it go to Mazeroski, but he went too far. Law covers the bag and steps on it, and the side is retired. Great job by Law once again getting over to first. Clendenin drifted too far to his right, but Law bails him out. We go to the bottom of the third, 2-0 Minnesota. 
Do up for the Pirates, trailing by two. Pag Laroni, Law on the top of the order, Alou. Jimmy Pags, 143, no homers, no ribbies. Mudcat Grant is ready to work. He's only given up one hit. The pitch to Pag Laroni. Fly ball, right field, Oliva on the run, racing towards the corner, and he makes the catch. What a job by Tony O. He did it with the bat in the first, and now he does it with a glove in the bottom of the third. Now bring up Vern Law. He's batting 333. The pitch from Grant to Law. Slowly hit to short. Zolio Versalis to his left. Fires. Bang, bang, play at first, and Law beat it out. Mincher with the stretch. And he's safe. So Vern Law with an infield hit. That was a hustling Vern Law. Top of the order, Matty Alou. He's 0 for 1. Mincher will play behind Law. Gives him more range. The pitch to Matty Alou. How do you do? Base hit. Right center field. Oliva gets there. Law holds at second. Station to station. Goal to Pirates. Tying run at first. Go ahead run at the plate and Gene Ali. Ali does have a homer in the series with three ribbies. He's 0 for 1 today. He was a strikeout victim. Stargell on deck. Grant in a bit of a pickle here. Rubs up the baseball. Now he's back up on the perch. He's ready. Batty sets the target to pitch to Gene Ali. That's a base hit up the middle. Law will score. Alou goes first to third, and Gene Ali has another ribby. And just like that, the Pirates come back. Tying run 90 feet away. Go-ahead run at first for Willie Stargell. And one out. Pre-pops Willie Stargell. He was a strikeout victim. They're going to try to go with a pitch around here. Maybe Stargell beats the, ground, beats the ball into the dirt for a double play. Grant's ready. He kicks and fires. Stargell grounds it back to Grant. Grant pivots. He throws to Allen. Allen fires to Minchner. And they got just what the doctor ordered. One, four, three. Double play and the inning is over. Tying run stranded at third. We went with the pitch around. And here is the replay. I believe it went Grant to Allen to Mincher. One, four, three. Outstanding job by Mudcat Grant. But the Pirates cut the lead in half as they put one digit up on the board. We go to the top of the fourth. Two to one, Twins. Do up for the Twins. Hall, Allen, and Zolio Versalis to face Vern Law. And it was Law's hustle infield single that led to the Pirates' run. He was the one who scored. Here's Jimmy Hall. He's 0 for 1. Flew out to right. Law to Hall. And that's a base hit right center field. Will he challenge Clemente? Mm, Clemente bobbles it, and Hall thinks about it. And he's going to go. And Clemente does not make the throw, so it's going to be a single E9. Oh, boy, Clemente rushed himself there. And that's a huge insurance run at second for the Twins. Here's Bernie Allen. He is one for one. With a ribby. He's a poor bunter. I would like to bunt Hall over, but he's a poor bunter. So hopefully he can be a professional hitter if he makes an out. Hopefully he grounds it to the right side. Law peeks over his shoulder. Now picks up the sign from Paglaroni. He rocks and deals to Allen. And he walked him. Only good news there. It sets up a double play. And here's Zolio Versalis, another poor bunter. Zolio is 0 for 1. No outs, 2 on. The pitch to Zolio Versalis. Ground ball, slowly hit to Ali. Ali quickly pivots to Mazeroski, who fires to Clendenin. Double play, 6 to 4 to 3. Hall goes to third. So Law gets a double play there, and he needed that. That's where we, when we're unable to bunt with our poor bunters. Might cost us a run here. Hall at third, two away for Ted Ulander. He's 0 for 1. He grounded out to second. Now batting 235. Ulander trying to give the Twins a 3 1 lead. Paglaroni sets up inside. Pitch homeward bound to Teddy Ulander. 
Drifts out over the plate. Base hit to left. And it's going to be a hustle double for Ulander. It's 3-1. to one. Paglaroni set up inside. The ball drifted out over the plate. And Ted Ulander made Law pay for it. Here's Mudcat Grant. He's 0 for 1. The pitch to Mudcat. Fly ball right center. Clemente going over. And the side is retired. But the Twins put another run up on the board. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 3 to 1 Minnesota. If they win, they are the 1966 Red Sox replay World Series champions. Two up for the Pirates, Clemente, Clendenin, and Bailey. Clemente made that error. Can he make up for it now? He was 0 for 1. He was a strikeout victim. Grant deals to Clemente. Line shot to Killebrew, and he snared it. One down. Twins throw it around the infield. SDG Replays is here at Forbes Field in Pittsburgh. Check out that wonderful channel, SDG Replays. Lots of Glory Days Boxing. And also, Pro Strategy Football 2021. Here's Clendenin. He's one for one. He singled his first time up. Batty wiggles the finger, sets the target. The pitch to Don Clendenin. Base hit, right center. Oliva quickly cuts it off and fires it in towards Allen, holding Clendenin to a single. Here's Bob Bailey once again. He has two homers, and if Bob Bailey goes bippity-boppity-boom to the moon, we have a tie game. Grant throws over, and Clendenin gets back. Mincher holds him on. The pitch to Bailey, and he walks. Oh, boy. Tying run at first, and Bailey go-ahead run. At Bill Mazeroski, who's now 1 for 15, batting .067. Pag Laroni on deck. He's struggling mad, mighty with the stick. The pitch to Maz. And he strikes him out. That is huge. Two outs, two on for Jim Pag Laroni. Jimmy Pags is 2 for 15. Grant rubs up the baseball. He's back up on the bump. The leg kick and the pitch to Paglaroni. Two outs, two on. Ground ball, slowly hit to short. Versalis charges, fires to Mincher. And the side is retired as they get the lumbering Paglaroni easily out at first. The Pirates threaten, but do not score. We go to the top of the fifth, 3-1 to one Minnesota, looking to take the World Series in five. Top of the order, Tony Oliva, Earl Batty, and Harmon Killebrew. Tony Oliva, one for two. He's homered and lined to second. Law deals to Tony O. Base hit to right. As the left-handed Tony Oliva pulls it past Mazeroski. Now bring up Earl Batty. Clendenin to hold Oliva on. We're going to play hit and run. Batty a seven hit and run. There goes Oliva. The throw down. Not in time. So the hit and run failed there. One ball, two strikes now, but Oliva's in scoring position. So Batty's going to swing away with two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he walks. So Law's a bit rattled from the stolen base. No outs, two on for Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew is one for two. He has singled and got jammed, and he flew out to shallow left Willie Starger. The pitch to Hammer and Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew sends that ball deep left field. Stargell going back, looking up, and it's off the wall. Oliva scores. Batty is going to be held 75. They're going to send him. They're going to wave him around. Here's a throw, and it's cut off by Bailey. The Killebrew double knocks in two more. It's 5-1 Minnesota. He just missed a three-run homer. Here is the replay of the Killebrew blast to left. Stargell racing back towards the corner, and it is literally inches from being a three-run homer. But the Twins will take those two runs. It's now 5-1 Minnesota. Things are looking good. They might start planning the parade in the Twin City. And here's Don Mincher, Killebrew at second, no outs. 
Law might not be long for this game. The pitch to Mincher. 0 for 2. Fly ball to Clemente. Clemente coming in. He's made an error. He makes the catch. Killebrew in no chance of tagging. Are you out of your mind? You stay put, Harmon. One down. Now bring up Jimmy Hall. He's one for two. Law deals to Hall. Grounder. Slowly to third. Bailey charges. Quick release. Hall racing down the line. The stretch by Clendenin. Bang, bang, play at first base. And he is out. Bang, bang goes Hall. You are out. Killebrew, when Bailey charged the ball on the slowly hit grounder, advanced to third. So two outs. Killebrew 90 feet away. He can score on a wild pitch or a balk. And here's Bernie Allen. Allen had that clutch, clutch two-out double his first time up, knocking in uh, two, and then he walked. The pitch to Bernie Allen. Fly ball, right field. Clemente goes back a bit, and that's out number three. But the, two, the double knocks in two by Killebrew. It's now 5-1 as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Minnesota looking to close things out here in game five. Do up for the Pirates, Law, let's see if we'll see a pinch hitter, Alou and Alley. I do not control the Pirates, I control the Twins. Law's one for one, he's going to swing away. Grounder to Versalis, throws to Mincher, one down. So they're going to stick with Vern Law, which is surprising to me down 5-1 in an elimination game. As Mudcat Grant's looking for his second win, he beat Law in game one. Here's Matty Alou. He's one for two. Alou awaits the Grant offering. Pitch homeward bound. Alou swings. Versalis makes a diving stop to his left from his knees. He fires. Scooped out of the dirt by Mincher. Two away. What a play by Zolio Versalis. Two outs. Base is empty for the Pirates trailing by four. And here's Gene Ali. Ali one for two. He's knocked in the only run of the game. He is struck out and single. Stargell on deck. Grant deals quickly to Ollie. Inside corner. Punches it to second. Allen to Mincher. And that's out number three. We go to the top of the sixth. 5-1 Pirates. RJL518 says, okay, so Mudcat Grant has only given up one run on five hits, and it's now the bottom of the fifth. Analytics says, pull him. Now I'm Kevin Cash. Analytics is stupid. Kevin Cash is a moron, and I would have fired him right after the game if I was the owner. But that's the stupidity of modern baseball, folks. And I still love baseball. Pitchers should pitch until they get tired or they're pitching bad. Do up for the Twins. Zolio Versalis, Ted Ulander, and Mudcat Grant. Versalis is 0 for 2. Average is now dropped to 375. Law's back up on the bump, surprisingly. He deals to Zolio Versalis. Grounder slowly to third. Bailey charges. Quick release. Again, the stretch by Clendenin. It's a backhanded scoop out of the dirt. And Zolio beats it out. He's now one for three. That brings up Teddy Ulander. Ulander is one for two. We're going to play hit and run. There goes Zolio. Ulander swings, grounds it third base side, but foul. 1-1 one, one count, hit and run again. There goes the runner. Ground ball to Bailey. His only play will be to first. And they get Ulander, but Ulander does a good piece of professional hitting. As he puts the ball down and on the ground. And Zolio Versalis stands at second base with one out. And Mudcat Grant at the plate. He's 0 for 2. Mudcat will drop the sack bunt down. Paglaroni has it. Only plays to first. Mazeroski covers on the wheel play. And Zolio Versalis moves up 90 feet to third. Two outs, but it's the top of the order, and it's Tony Oliva. Tony O batting 421, two homers and four ribbies. If you're just joining us, he had the leadoff homer 
to give the Twins a quick lead that they have yet to relinquish. They're now up 5-1. to one. Law deals to Oliva. Oliva pops it up. Foul territory. Bailey giving chase. But the stands might come into play here. Bailey moving towards the stands. He's going to reach in, and he's not going to make it. That's a souvenir for a very angry Pirates fan right now. 0-2 count to Tony Oliva. We do it again. Paglaroni sets up inside. Law rocks and fires. Oliva grounds to Mazeroski. Mazeroski throws to Clendenin. Zolio Versalis will be stranded at third. Oliva claps his hands. A little disappointed with himself. We go to the bottom of the six. 5-1 twins. Do up for the Pirates. They got to get something going here. Stargill, Clemente, and Clendenin. Stargill's 0 for 2. The pitch to Willie. Takes the outside pitch. Pulls it to right center field. Tony Oliva on the run. Reaching up and he makes the catch. Tony Oliva. And he flips it back in towards the infield. One away. Let's watch that over. Oliva went a far, far away for that ball. Robbing Stargell of extra bases. One out. Base is empty for Roberto Clemente. He's 0 for 2. The wind up and the pitch. Clemente. To left, Hall coming in towards the line, two away. No one's on, two outs for Don Clendenin, he's two for two. Let's see what Bailey and Mudcat Grant have for Clendenin. They have not been able to retire him yet. They're going to go pitch around, see if he chases. He does, punches it down the right field line, Oliva on the move, and he just runs out of room. One ball, two strikes. Mudcat Grant's ready. Arms down to his chest. He rocks and fires. Inside corner. And that's laced left field line and foul. Hall runs out of real estate. Still 1-2 and we do it all over again. Bob Bailey on deck. The pitch homeward bound to Don Clendenin. Pounds it inside. Clendenin grounds to Killebrew who throws to Mincher. 1-2-3 go the Pirates. The battle is won by Mudcat Grant. Top of the seventh. 5-1 Twins looking to take the series. It'll be Batty, Killebrew, and Mincher to face Vern Law. Vern Law is not laying down the law at all. Here's the pitch to Batty. Batty rips the inside pitch right back to center. Batty's now two for three. And here's Killebrew, who's two for three. He doubled in two runs in his last at-bat. He's flown out to shallow left and single. Clendenin holds Batty on. Batty, 75% chance of stealing second. But Killebrew's at the plate. The pitch to Hammer and Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew swings, base hit, left center field. Stargell cuts it off. Batty hits second and will hold. No outs, two on. Law's on the ropes. My God, how long are they going to stick with him? And here's Donnie Mincher. He's 0 for 3, now batting 182. He does have one ribby. Chance to pick up one or more. Law deals quickly to the struggling Mincher. Paglaroni wants to make sure they're on the same page. And now the pitch homeward bound. Mincher, swing and a miss. One out, two on. Double play gets him out of this mess. Still 5-1 Twins, top of the seventh. Jimmy Hall is one for three. His one hit was a single. He advanced to second on the Clemente error. The pitch to Jimmy Hall. Hall swings. Fly ball. Deep right. Clemente looking up. And it's gone into the forest. A three-run bippity boppity boom by Jimmy Hall. And it is now 8-1 to one as the Pirates fans now start to file out of Forbes Field. 8-1 to one Minnesota. You can get that parade ready, it seems, back in the Twin City. Here's the replay of the Jimmy Hall blast. Boom to the moon, Alice. Boom goes the ball. Jimmy Hall and the rest of the Twins will touch them all. The third home run for Jimmy Hall. As I, you can say, he had a hall pass. 
eight to one Minnesota as RJL518 says crack. That was a shot. Let's quickly go to Jimmy Hall. I will tell you his playoff numbers. Hall has now driven in six runners. He's scored four times and he has three homers. He's batting 350. The big difference in this game, in this series, the Twins are hitting the ball. The Pirates really aren't. Here's Bernie Allen. He's one for two. He doubled in two runs in his first at bat, then walked and flew out to right. And the new pitcher for the Pirates, and it's a little too late in my opinion, Al McBean. McBean making his first appearance in the series, probably his last. McBean in the replay was 1-0 and with a save, ERA 3-2-7. In actuality, was 1-4, well, I'm sorry, was 4-3 with three saves, 3.22. He's a right-handed pitcher. He deals to the left-handed Bernie Allen. Allen, base hit to center. He's now 2-3. for three. The hit parade continues. One out, one on for Zolio Versalis. He's one for three. His one hit was an infield single. The pitch to Zolio. Ground ball back to McBean. McBean throws to Mazeroski, who quickly pivots and fires to Clendenin for the one to four to three double play. And that will retire the side. But the three-run homer by Jimmy Hall has put some big, big nails in the Pirates' coffin. It's now 8-1 to one, Minnesota as they play Take Me Out to the Ball Game as fans continue to file out here at Forge Field. For its root, root, root for the Pirates. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Dun, 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 dun. As this announcer takes a swig of water. I look over and I see the Pirates announcers taking a swig of vodka. It's been a painful game for Pittsburgh. Due up for the Pirates, hoping for a biblical miracle down by seven. Bailey, Mazeroski, and Paglaroni. Bailey is 0 for 1, and he has walked. The pitch to Bob Bailey. Fly ball, shallow left. Hall will make the grab. One down. What a diving catch! What a catch by Hall as that ball started knuckle under and he had to make the diving catch. It looked like it was going to be easy and it just started knuckling under. One down. He has a big smile on his face. Hall had in the top of the seventh hit the three-run homer. Here's Mazeroski now batting .063. Yankees fans from 1960 were... Wishing this was the Mazeroski who showed up for that series. The pitch to Billy Mazeroski. And there's a base hit to center. He's digging for two. Versalis puts a tag on him, but not in time. So Mazeroski stands at second with one out. And here's Jim Paglaroni. He's batting 125. 0 for 2 today. Mudcat Grant deals quickly to Pags. And there's a base hit to left. Mazeroski hits third and will score. The Pirates, with two of their weaker hitters in this World Series, a double and a single. It's now 8-2. to two. They're only a touchdown down. Pinch hitting for McBean will be Jerry Lynch. Lynch is 0 for 3 as a pinch hitter in this series. A Lou on deck. Mincher will play behind Paglaroni. The pitch to Jerry Lynch, left-handed batter. Ba Batty goes out to the mound. Make sure they're on the same page. Lynch swings, grounds it to Zolio Versalis. Versalis quickly flips to Allen. And on to Mincher. Double play. Six to four to three. Jerry Lynch is now 0 for 4 as a pinch hitter as he scuffs the dirt and goes back to the dugout. We go to the top of the eighth. Pirates do get one, but they still trail by six. Eight to two, Minnesota. This is a deciding game for the Twins. And now on the mound for the Pirates is Luke Walker. And he makes his first appearance in this World Series. In the replay, 
Luke Walker was no wins, one loss, no saves with a 2.38 in actuality. No wins, one loss with an ERA of 4.50. So Luke Walker, the lefties on the mound. I think they're just matching up here against Ted Ulander. Teddy Ulander's one for three. The pitch to Ulander. Grounded back to Walker. He throws to Clendenin. One away. Let's see if they go back to the pen now. Or they'll stick with the lefty Walker. They're going to stick with the lefty Walker. And here comes Mudcat Grant. He's 0 for 2. Walker, the lefty, deals to the righty Mudcat Grant. And Grant grounds it to Mazeroski, ranging to his right. Throws to Clendenin. Two down. Mudcat Grant looking to get his second win. He beat Law in game one. Looks to beat Law now in game five and take the World Series back to the Twin City. Here's Tony Oliva, two for four. Oliva has homered and singled. The pitch to Tony O. Lefty, lefty matchup. Oliva! And Walker boots it! Walker boots it! And Oliva reaches on the E1. Keeps the inning alive for Earl Batty, who's two for three. Second error on the Pirates, Clendenin, I'm sorry, Clemente, and now Walker. The pitch to Earl Batty. Two outs, Oliva at first, and Batty walks. First and second, two away. And here comes Hammer and Harmon. Killebrew is three for four. He has singled, flown to shallow left, doubled in two runs, and singled again. Two outs, two on. The pitch to the power-hitting Killebrew. Killebrew sends that ball deep center field. Alou racing back at the track, and he makes the catch and bangs into the wall. We go to the bottom of the eighth, 8-2 eight Minnesota. Due up for the Pirates, Alou, Ali, and Stargell. If anyone gets on, and boy do they need it, Roberto Clemente. Matty Alou's one for three. Mudcat Grant, 113 pitches. He says he's A-OK. -okay. The pitch to Matty Alou. How do you do? Ground ball back. Up the middle, Allen backhands it, pivots and fires to Mincher. One down. Mudcat Grant looks at his glove. He thought he had it, but it was by him. Let's watch that replay. Mudcat Grant just smiling. Allen, nice job there by the twin second baseman. Minnesota five outs away from the World Series. Here's... Gene Ali, he is one for three. Grant's ready. Batty sets the target, the windup, and the pitch to Ali. Ali sends that ball left field. Hall going back. Hall looking up, and it is gone. They try to jam Gene Ali, and Ali jammed the ball out of the ballpark for another home run in this series. It's now eight to three, Minnesota. Here is the replay of the Ali Blast. A uh, bippity boppity boom to the moon goes Gene Ali. Boom goes the ball, and as we like to say, Ali touched them all. Eight to three, Minnesota. Twins have a little stirring in their bullpen now. One out, no one on for Willie Stargell. He's 0 for three. Stargell digs in the left-hander's batter's box, ready to grip and rip. Mudcat Grant looking for the outs. Batty pounds the mitt, sets the target. Clemente on deck, the pitch to Stargell. And he walked him. Now bring up Roberto Clemente. And that's going to be it for Mudcat Grant. He's laboring a bit now. So Mudcat couldn't bring it home. But someone else will. And that person will be Al Worthington. So Al Worthington will come into the game and slide into the ninth spot. Worthington so far in this World Series has a win and a save in four innings pitch. No walks, five Ks. No ERA. No one has reached base. One out, one on. Worthington done with his warm-up tosses. He now deals to Clemente. And he strikes out Clemente. Two outs. Worthington gets the ball back quickly. Here's Don Clendenin, two for three. Bailey on deck, eight to three twins. Worthington nods his head. The leg kick and the pitch to Don Clendenin. 
Then Clendenin grounds a Killebrew. Killebrew goes a short way to Allen. They force out Stargell at second. We go to the top of the ninth. Five run lead for Minnesota. As they look to close out the Pirates in five in our 1966 Red Sox Replay World Series in which the Pirates won the National League and the Twins won the American League. And we led my beloved Red Sox to an 81-81 and record. All right, so Walker back up on the bump. Pirates have put up single digits in the seventh and the eighth, but they're going to need a lot more in the bottom of the ninth. It's Mincher, Hall, and Allen. Walker deals to Mincher, who's 0 for 4. Fly ball. Right field. Clemente on the run. Looking up in the corner, and it's off the wall. Mincher's going to have a double. And here comes Jimmy Hall, now batting 350, three homers, and six ribbies. He had a three-run homer in his last at-bat. Can he get a two-run homer? The pitch from Walker to Hall. Lefty-lefty matchup. Grounder, right side, Clendenin waves off Walker, races to the bag, advancing to third is Mincher. So one out, Mincher 90 feet away from the ninth twin run. That'll bring to the plate Bernie Allen. He's batting 444, knocked in his first run of the series with a double in the first. Mincher at third. They're not playing in. Walker's ready to work. Paglaroni sets the target. The pitch to Bernie Allen. Grounder back to Walker. He looks. Oh, it gets by him. Mazeroski makes the diving stop. Mincher's going to race home. Mazeroski's only plays the first. And the Twins have scored their ninth run. Oh, Walker let that ball get by him. Through the wickets. He should have made that stop. Here is the play once again. Allen hit the ball quite hard through the wickets of Walker. Mazeroski saves the hit up the middle, but not the run. Mincher scores, and the Twins are now up 9-3. It's a six-run lead once again. Two outs, base is empty for Zulio Versalis. He's going to try to drop down the bunt here, and he bunts it foul. 0-2 count to Zulio Versalis. He chokes up on the bat. Walker... Rocks and deals to Zolio. Grounder to Ali. His counterpart Ali throws to Clendenin. And Versalis is retired. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Nine to three twins. They are three outs away from taking the World Series. Al Worthington on the mound. He will face Bob Bailey, Bill Mazeroski, and Jim Paglaroni. If anyone gets on a pinch hitter for Walker. Bailey's 0 for 2. Mazeroski on deck. Worthington nods his head. He picks up the sign. He deals. And he jams Bailey. Pop up. Left side. Killebrew on the outfield. Grass going back a bit. Hall racing in. Killebrew screaming. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. And out number one. The Twins are two outs away from the World Series and taking this championship trophy back to the Twin City. It's Bill Mazeroski now batting 118. Two for 17 in the series. The pitch to Billy Maz. Grounded back to Worthington. Over to Mincher. Two down. Worthington jabs Mazeroski. Jams, excuse me, Mazeroski. Twins up on the stoop of the dugout waiting to celebrate here at Forbes Field. What remaining fans for the Pirates, just shaking their heads. This is a ghost town here in Forbes Field. And it's up to Jim Paglaroni. Paglaroni knocked in a run in his last at-bat. He's one for three, now batting 176. Jim Paglaroni, the former Red Sox. The man who was at the plate to congratulate Ted Williams in his final at-bat when he hit the home run. The pitch to Pags. Base hit by Paglaroni. It's going to be extra bases as it... Going to be a double. It split Ulander and Oliva. And here comes the pinch hitter, Manny Moda for the Pirates. Moda, 400 with a ribby. Moda, two for five. You just have to keep the conga line going if you're a Pittsburgh fan. A few fans left here at Forbes Field are fully intoxicated, but they are cheering. Alou on deck. The pitch to Manny Moda. 
And he strikes out! The Twins have won the World Series in five, taking it four games to one as they celebrate on the mound. Worthington is being mobbed. Much joy in the Twin City. Not much joy in Mudville, which is Pittsburgh right now. A great victory for the Twins, 9-3. to three. Let's go to the box score as the Twins race off the field to go celebrate with some champagne in the locker room. So the Twins easily handle the Pirates four games to one. They take the 1966 Retro World Series replay in our Red Sox replay. And we're going to bring the box score up. Bear with us Bear with us a moment. And there it is. It should be up in a moment. Why is the box score not up? There it is. Okay. A little technical difficulties. Mudcat Grant goes 2-0 and in the World Series. He defeats... He defeats Vern Law twice. He went seven and a third innings, eight hits, three runs. They were all earned. One homer, two walks, four Ks. Al Worthington went an inning and two third, gave up one hit, struck out two. Vern Law 0 for two in the series, six and a third innings, 12 hits, eight runs. They were all earned. Two homers, two walks, and a strikeout. McBean went two thirds of an inning with a hit, no runs, no walks, no Ks. And Walker, two innings, one hit, one run. It was earned. He walked one. Oliva, two for five with a home run and a stolen base. Batty, two for three. And Jimmy Hall, two for five with a three-run homer. Gene Ali picked up his second homer in the series. He was two for four and knocked in two. Batting. Twins had 14 hits. Oliva, two for five, two runs in a ribby and a home run. Earl Batty, Two for three, three runs scored, two walks. Uh, Oliva hit 381. Batty, 429. Killebrew, 444. He was three for five, a run and two ribbies and a double. Mincher batted 231. He was one for five with a run scored. He walked, I'm sorry, he struck out and doubled. Jimmy Hall batted 333, two for five, two runs scored, three ribbies on the three run homer. Allen batted. 400. He was two for four with two ribbies and a walk and a double. Zolio Versalis, one for five, batted 368 in the series. Uh, Ted Ulander, one for four, the ribby batted 250. And Mudcat Grant was 0 for three, he batted 167. Worthington pitched and not hit. The Twins in their clinching 9 3 victory for the World Series. They win it four games to one, 39 at bats, nine runs, 14 hits, nine ribbies, three walks, one strikeout. Four doubles and two homers. They slugged the ball all over the place. For the Pirates, Matty Alou was one for four. He finished with a 353 batting average. Gene Ali, two for four. A run scored, two ribbies, a strikeout, and a homer. He finished 333. Stargell batted 200. He was 0 for three with a walk and a strikeout. Clemente, 0 for four with two strikeouts, batted 263. Don Clendenin, two for four, batted 263. Bailey, 0 for three with a walk. 167 average, but he had two homers and I what did, what did he have? Four ribbies? Six ribbies? I have to look that up. He, um, Mazeroski, one for four. The run scored, a strikeout, and a double. Batted, ended up batting 111. Jim Paglaroni, two for four with a ribby and a double. He batted 222. Vern Law, one for two with a run scored, batted 400. McBean, Lynch, and Walker. I'm sorry, McBean pitched and not hit. Jerry Lynch, the pinch hitter, was 0 for four in the series. Walker pitched not hit. Manny Moda was 0 for 1. He struck out. He was the final out in the World Series. The Pirates, in a stunning defeat in this World Series, they go down four games and won 34 at bats in game five. They only could muster three runs on nine hits, three ribbies, two walks, six Ks, two doubles, and the homer by Ali. Player of the game was Jimmy Hall. The recap, well, it was it's a long one. 
Minnesota in the first sent seven batters to plate, scored two runs on four hits. Oliva hit a solo homer to lead off the game, second of the series. Um, and then Bernie Allen doubled in a run, 2 nothing. Pirates came back to cut the lead in half with one run in the third when Ali singled in Law. Law reached on an infield single, and it was 2-1. to one. And then it was all downhill from there for the Pirates. As Minnesota got a run on two hits, a walk, and an error, Ted Ulander doubled in Hall, made it 3-1. to one. Pittsburgh in the fourth singled. Don Clendon singled, and his hit streak was 13. That's all that happened there. They didn't score any runs. In the fifth, Minnesota was back at it. Two more runs on two hits and a walk. Killebrew doubled in two. It was 5-1 Pittsburgh. In the seventh, Twins were at it again. Three runs on four hits. Jimmy Hall hit a three-run homer. 8-1 to one Pittsburgh. That was Hall's third home run in the series. Pittsburgh would get one in the seventh on a Paglaroni single. It was 8-2. to two. They get another one in the eighth on a solo homer by Alley. It was eight to three. And the Twins were to get one back as Allen grounded out and a run scored. Nine to three, and that's your final score, folks, as the Twins once again take the World Series. And as you see, Ali, Batty, and Hall had the big games for the Twins. Gene Ali for the Pirates. I, wow, I don't know who the World Series MVP is. I would have to give it. Can we look? I don't think I can click on any names. I'll have to look it over, and I'll have to get back to you. If you're on Digital to Dice or the Facebook group or a Sports Simulation Facebook group, I'll put it there, and then the next stream I'll tell you after I look it over. It might not be the very next stream. But I will look it over. I'm leaning. Mudcat Grant won two games, but you know what? I'm giving three MVPs. My series, uh, my project, Tony Oliva, Jimmy Hall, and Mudcat Grant. Triple MVPs for the Minnesota Twins. I can't go wrong with any of them. I'm giving it to all three. So thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. This was the World Series for my 1966 Red Sox replay. I know this was not the actual World Series, but this was the World Series for our replay. Pirates won the National League. The Twins won the American League. And as we witnessed, just won the World Series. And we were able to leave my lead my beloved Red Sox to a 500 record at 81 and 81. So there you have it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Health and happiness. Be safe. Be smart. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Love you all. God bless. You know what's coming, folks. Peace!